Here we are at the barbecue and with Prince Promotions. I'm here with Ryan and the Barney Boxing Barber. Ryan, just off camera there, uh, I touched on obviously what you've been up to. You've had three fights already. Yeah, yeah three fights already, all stoppages, ready for the fourth. Yeah. You look a big, strong lad. What got you into boxing? Because you just said you're, what, 30, 31? Yeah. Yeah, and for three fights, what have you been doing before those three fights? Got into boxing quite late, trained for like a year or two, started fighting last year. Now, yeah, just trying to stay active, get as many wins as possible, see where it goes. So your first fight, where was that? In here, right. yeah, all sorry, yeah, in the same yeah. place, prison, yeah. And have you won those three fights? Yeah, all three won, yeah. Yeah, have you stopped them or gone the distance? Yeah, all three stopped, yeah. Wow, that's good. So you obviously, you're a big, strong lad. You like to get in there and you like to get on the front foot and get it done. Well, to be honest, I have to, because when I hit them, they start running. Yeah, no, I, I, listen, I like that, but it's, it, I'm guessing Fahim has organised this and the matchmaking's been done. It's going to be a step up for you, fourth yeah, fight. Yeah, if definitely. you've been dispensing of people quite quickly, they're going to stick somebody in who's going to stick and move and try and lay it on you. Yeah, well, hopefully he gives me a better challenge than what I have been so I can showcase my skills and what I've been working on to the people who've come to support me and bought tickets. Yeah. What, what do you do to keep fit apart from getting in the gym? Do you do like a heavy manual job or what do you do for a living? Do like um, TNS, good plug, TNS, landscaping and maintenance, yeah. patios, driveways, painting, decorating, anything you need. That's what we do on a weekday and also the boxing, yeah. yeah. What do you know about your opponent tonight? All I know, he's just getting it. Don't yeah. need to know nothing. Just, no. He's from Birmingham, he's coming down, he's getting sent back home up. Listen, that's a, that's a great mindset to have because you don't want to be worrying about too much what anybody else is doing. Yeah. You want to be worrying about what you're doing. And I love positivity yeah. and, and you seem great and you want to get stuck in. Yeah, just focus on myself. Can't wait to get in there now, yeah. Okay. Well, I say this to everybody. I'm uh, preaching men's mental health. I'm from Cornwall. Uh, I like to get the conversation going. Yeah. When has there been a time when you've had to really bite down on your gum shield and make it happen? How, what's things been like with you as a young man growing up? Every day, every day in life, you got to bite down. Boxing's good, very good. Anyone who does suffer from mental health illnesses and stuff, boxing, very good. Keeps you disciplined, gives you a target. Every day you can see progression, and sometimes in the real world, when you don't see progression, it can get a bit disheartening. But if you stick to boxing, good things will happen. I'm an example of that, you know what I mean? I'm guessing you're a positive role model for your friends and people around you because, you know, I'd love to have you in a meeting, a man down meeting, because straight away you're positive about the way you want to be, the way you want to portray yourself. Have you got a lot of fans coming because they want to see this knockout again tonight? Yeah, I hope so. There's going to be a full full building and I hope everyone enjoys it and yeah I hope I can get the KO just to put the icing on the cake. I've just jumped in this ring and I think it's only 16 foot and I think I fought in this particular ring last year myself. You're a big lad, have you got in there and had a feel for it? Yeah I've fought in this ring a few times before anyway it's the same ring any t every time I'm used to it. Yeah. It's all good. There's no hiding place in there, and there's no hiding place with a big lad like you. So, you know, you're not going to have to chase anybody too much to get hold of them tonight. As soon as I step on them, as soon as they end up on that ropes and I go to work, like you said, there's nowhere to run. Nowhere to run. Well, listen, thanks for giving the time. You're all, you're all uh, you know, wrapped up and ready to go. Please like and subscribe to the Barnet Boxing Barber. Take care oh, and keep punching. Big dogs, woof, woof. P-Town, let's go. We're at the boxing with Ryan. Cheers. Cheers, man. Thank you, bro. Yeah. Thanks for giving your time. I yeah, man. It. And good I'm luck looking, tonight. I look to really support that. Yeah, like yeah. Open. Let me give you this so you can uh, check out your interview. That's a great interview. Yeah, boy, I really appreciate yeah, your good, time. Brother. Cheers. Yeah, very good. Thank you.
are for the Barney Boxing Bar, but I'm back with Ryan. Ryan, we had a little chat before you got in the ring, and here you are victorious. How did it go for you tonight? Went nice, you tell me. You tell me how you, it went. Did you watch? Yeah, I was up there on the balcony and I couldn't help but watch. Champion. Yeah, you tell them how it went. I think it went good, but that's for you lot to decide, isn't it? Listen, you can only fight who's in front of you, and he was game to start with, but your power and your size was far too much for him tonight. Yeah, I just noticed as soon as I started landing on him, just a matter of time, isn't it? You was almost awkward trying to pick your body shots because you was that big, um, you sort of didn't really run out of ideas to know what to do with him at times because you gave him the body and then you thought, well, is this guy going to stay down or what? Yeah, I just, I thought, I've seen him fight before, I thought oh, he might get up, but then at the same time, I know what that right does. Can I get this gentleman in? He looks like your trainer. Oh. Hello, who am I talking to? Oh, Brandon. Brendan, Brendan, you've got to step this guy up now. He means business. He's ready to step up now. He's ready to step up. We've been working on some things. Yeah. He's tall, rangy, big for the weight. Yeah. Uh, we started putting body work in now, as you see. Yeah. He's, he finishes people. He hurts me with those body shots. Yeah. He hurts me like a heavyweight to the body. He's that strong to the body. He's one of, he's one of them that stands out for me. I mean, he, he, you know, his mannerisms, the way he is. The way I, I look, the way I talk, the way I walk. Well, uh, listen. 2023 Muhammad Ali, you can't see me, big John. He's, he's long and rangy, and with that whip on the end of the back hand, the whip at the end of the body shot, he'll get a lot of people out there. Not many people will take that. That's all I'm going to say. What, what's it like getting him in the gym sparring? Because, um, you know, he's heavy handed and it needs to be like that in the gym. What's happening? Well, what, he's, he's, he's too nice when he's in the gym. Okay. He knows to give people out and yeah. nice. He's a good guy. Yeah. But when he gets in there, he switches the, uh, the switch off, so we say. And he goes out there to let, take people out in the first place. Well, I hope you get him out again this year because I'd like to see him. Him out and I'd like to see what he's about. Like hoping to get out in November. Yeah. Yeah. November oh, yeah. next time. Oh, I'd like to give the sound down, down, down a little bit and earn his, yeah. his height and reach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make it easier for himself, but yeah. um, he can't help himself when he gets in front of the crowd. Yeah, he, he needs to step it up. He needs to be with somebody who can move around, stick and move. And, uh, you know, so it is, you know, yeah, I, I, want to, I want to see him have a fight. I want to see him get in there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's what we're in it for. Any, any messages to everybody watching you? And get on the journey with this guy because he's going places. It's not a lot of the look of him. Yeah, shout out anyone showing support. If Fahim, you got anyone, 75, 76, I want a belt. November, I'm coming for it. Like I said, thank you for everyone supporting me, my coach, all my sparring partners, my missus, my kids, all that shit, yeah? Big in the game, big dogs. Oh, 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 oh. Take care, like and subscribe to the Barney Boxing Barber. We're in the boxing with Ryan. Cheers, lads. Oh.